All right, it's finally time to finish up the prediction series. This is Mike here today. Um, this is the 32nd video I have made. We've predicted 31 NFL teams records for the 2020 season. Today, we wrap things up with the final team in the AFC North, the Cincinnati Bengals. It's been a long journey. Thank you to everyone who's been watching all these videos. There's a playlist available. If you haven't seen previous videos, make sure you don't get it spoiled in this video. So today, we're talking about the Cincinnati Bengals. It's been a long road. This is going to be the last video about the prediction series. Um, if we got one more video coming out. We'll probably predict. Uh, it'll be like a cumulative thing where we say uh, what I predicted for every single NFL team. So I'll reveal all 32 teams at once, which will be pretty cool. So make sure you guys subscribe to check out when that video drops. Let's talk about the Cincinnati Bengals roster before we talk about their schedule. Bengals roster. All right. They made some moves in the offseason. Obviously, it was majority in the draft. So in the draft, I like what they did. Um, obviously, everyone knew they were going to pick Joe Barrow overall number one pick. Uh, it's a good pick. I mean, everyone, you know, just because it didn't surprise people doesn't mean it was the wrong pick. Joe Barrow, definitely a good move for this team. Obviously, Andy Dalton's gone. So Joe Barrow, take the reins. This is going to be his franchise for the foreseeable future. Do what you want. So Joe Barrow, he'll be a good quarterback. They also got him another threat at wide receiver. I believe they franchise tagged A.J. Green. I don't know what they did with him, but A.J. Green is staying in Cincinnati. Um, there were rumors he'd be elsewhere. So they have a good receiver in A.J. Green if he stays healthy. They have they, they drafted T. Higgins. So formal, formal rival. Um, so obviously Clemson and LSU. Yeah, they're going to be teaming up. T. Higgins is going to be a good uh, deep threat for this offense. And then Tyler Boyd. So when A.J. Green was injured in 2019, Tyler Boyd really stepped up his game. Um, and he honestly played pretty well as the number one receiver. So now that AJ Green's taking, you know, uh, facing the number one cornerback, Tyler Boyd's definitely going to have some more separation. I look for Tyler Boyd to have a solid year this year. And then John Ross is on the bench. He obviously has the big speed um, to join T. Higgins. So this wide receiver core is pretty good. Joe Burrow, good quarterback. Running back, we got Joe Mixon. Um, Mixon didn't do great last year, didn't do horrible, but... Can you blame him? He's got the worst, I'm talking about the worst offensive line in the entire NFL. The Cincinnati Bengals offensive line is doo-doo. Um, you know, Mixon was able to have some career years with the horrible offensive line. But at some point, like when you run the ball on the two-yard line with Joe Mixon and he doesn't get in, can you blame him? Because at that point, it's the offensive line's fault. So this offense is looking good, except for the offensive line, which, you know, brings it from a really good offense to, you know, yikes, that offensive line is going to have some trouble this year. Defensively, not a great defense either. Um, they brought in DJ Reader from Houston. Geno Atkins, obviously, is a good threat on the defensive line. And they got Von Bell, but he's, he, might, he might not even be a starter at safety for this team. Um, so this defense, definitely definitely not looking great. Um, I think Alexander McKenzie might be a new addition too. But this defense not looking great this year. They're not going to perform very well. Um, the Bengals, they're in the AFC North. They do have one of the easier schedules in the league. But they do have, you know... A relatively tough division where they play the Steelers and Ravens for a total of four games. So let's go into the Bengals schedule. Week one, they play the Los Angeles Chargers. Justin Herbert versus Joe Burrow. Um, let me rephrase that. I think Tyrod Taylor is probably going to be starting week one. I wish Justin Herbert were starting week one. But I think Taylor is going to start this game. I think that the ultimate way the Chargers lose. Um, I don't know. Both of, these game, both of these teams might not be great this year. And I think it's just going to be, you know... Uh, the Bengals have the home field advantage. Joe Burrow's first game going to be a lot of hype. I think Joe Burrow performs well this game and they get their first win against the Chargers. 1-0 uh, for the Bengals. Then they travel to play the Cleveland Browns first divisional matchup. Baker Mayfield versus Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, honestly, I think he's a better quarterback than Baker Mayfield right now at this point in time in the NFL. I don't care if Joe Burrow hasn't started the game. I think Baker Mayfield's been a pretty solid letdown. Um, the Browns do have some good uh, talent at wide receiver. Good talent at running back. Offensive line's a little sketchy, but the Browns' defense isn't great um, in some positions. These teams are actually pretty similar. Uh, I just like the Bengals a little bit more in this game. I don't care where it is. 2-0 for the Cincinnati Bengals. Then they play the Philadelphia Eagles Week 3. Um, it's in Philadelphia. This is the first time where they're playing an actual good team. Uh, definitely going to lose this game. You know, We'll give the Bengals the benefit of the doubt in some of like the... Uh, when they play some of the uh, less tougher opponents in the in the league, but when they play a good team, I don't know if Joe Burrow is going to be able to hold up his end of the bargain. Two and one. Then they play the Jacksonville Jaguars, worst team in the NFL in 2020. Jaguars are not going to you know be able to compete with any, with many teams this year, if any. 
if you haven't seen that prediction video, go check it out. It's a pretty funny one. Bengals definitely get the win here. Three and one. Three and one. Dang. You know, Bengals looking good to start the season off, I guess you could say. And, you know, after they get off that pretty easy beginning, they have a tougher schedule coming up. They play the Baltimore Ravens for the first matchup. Um, it's in Baltimore. Joe Burrow versus Lamar Jackson. Got my money on. It doesn't matter who, who's the better quarterback. Because guess what? The Ravens have a stacked roster. The Bengals roster definitely has some holes. The Ravens roster, not really. Ravens get the win here, three and two. And they play the Indianapolis Colts. It's you know, another away game, another decent enough team. Um, the Colts are definitely going to be in contention to win the AFC South division. The Bengals are not going to be in contention to win the AFC North, three and three. And they play the Cleveland Browns again. Um, so obviously this is the second game. We gave them the win in Cleveland. I think they get it done again in Cincinnati. That's right. The Bengals sweep the Browns um, in 2020. That's kind of a bold take, but uh, take it as you will. I think that the, the Bengals just um, have more explosiveness on offense. I think the, the, the Browns have some coaching issues to figure out. Obviously, Kevin Stefanski, we're going to have to see if he's a good coach. Uh, I think the Bengals are going to get the job done right here, and they will be 4-3. and three. Then they play the Tennessee Titans. It's a home game. doesn't matter. Titans, much better roster. Um, you know... Imagine if Joe Burrow was on the Titans. The Titans would be elite. Ryan Tannehill, he literally just manages games. But when you have, you know, talent surrounding you, it's just going to be a better fit. Titans get the win here, and they're 4-4. Four and four. So they're 500 right now. Then they play the Pittsburgh Steelers for the first time. It's in Pittsburgh. Um, yeah, no shot of winning. Steelers usually dominate the Bengals. Um, and, you know, I don't know. It's, it's an easy win for the Steelers, honestly. So 4-5, and five, and they're below 500. And they play the Washington Redskins. It's in Washington. This is actually a really intriguing matchup. The Redskins bolstered up their defense. They got Ronald Darby, obviously. Um, and they got Chase Young. So, you know, Joe Burrow was number one. Chase Young, number two. So the number one and number two pick face off. Um, I just like Joe Burrow more than... I think Dwayne Haskins is probably starting this late in the season. Um, I kind of like the Bengals offense in this game. I like the Bengals offense more than the Redskins offense. Notable players in the Redskins offense. We got Terry McLaurin. And then, yup, you heard that silence. Nobody. So I think the Bengals get the win here, even though it is in Washington. I think it'll be a close game. So 5-5, five and five and they're 500. All right, 5-5. Five and five. It's actually, you know, looks like a salvageable season, right? All right. What is this? We got six games left. Um, <laughs> Bengals fans are not going to be happy with this six-game stretch. They play the New York Giants. Um, it's a home game for the Bengals. I think this is going to be one of the best games to watch in the season. Giants defense, not good. Bengals defense, not good. Giants offense, though, best running back in the league. They addressed offensive line in the draft. And I think they have a really good receiver core, just like the Bengals do. Um, quarterback, it's a toss-up. Uh, who knows if Daniel Jones is going to progress this year. I just like the Giants offense a lot more than I like the Bengals offense in this game. Uh, so I think the Giants get the win 5-6. and six. Then they play the Miami Dolphins. It's in Miami. Um, which is, a, I think this is a big advantage. Um, we're going to have a young, uh, it's going to be Tua versus uh, Joe Burrow probably this late in the season. And, uh, you know, offense versus offense. I mean, I just think that the, the Dolphins have less holes. The Dolphins, you know, the Bengals are heading in the right direction, but they're not there yet. Dolphins, you know, they already started rebuilding last year. The Dolphins are filling up some of their holes. Um, they, you know, less holes in the roster and the Bengals, they're just not there yet. So, at this point, they're five and seven. Then they play the Dallas Cowboys. Tough game. Good luck, Cincinnati. I hope you guys beat the Cowboys. If you're not going to, um, so five and eight. Second matchup against the Steelers. You know, Steelers are going to sweep the Bengals. I don't know if Ben Roethlisberger is going to be able to stay healthy this late in the season. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if he even is able to perform as uh, as if he's an MVP caliber candidate again, as he was earlier in his career. But um. Yeah, at this point, five and nine can't be the Steelers. And they play the Houston Texans. It's in Houston. Deshaun Watson's just a better quarterback than Joe Burrow. Um, he's got the, he's got more pieces on offense, honestly. Uh, you know, Deshaun Watson's able to perform with a garbage offensive line. He's already proven that. Can Joe Burrow adapt to having a garbage offensive line? It's gonna be interesting to see. But giving them another loss, five and ten. Then they finish off with the game against the Baltimore Ravens. They might win this game if the Ravens bench everybody. But we saw last year when the Ravens benched everybody and they still won the game. 
given the I mean, you know, given the win to the Ravens, give credit where it's due. Bengals finish off their schedule with a six-game losing streak. Jeez. And they finish off five and eleven. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty tough six-game closing stretch. We got Giants, Dolphins, Cowboys, Steelers, Ravens, and Texans. Tough six-game closing stretch. Five and eleven for the Bengals. That wraps up the final prediction video. You guys have any other series ideas that you want to see? Let me know down below. Thanks for sticking with it. And uh, you know, you're the best. There we go. All right.